Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Something that people are always asking me, surprisingly, this is something that I just didn't really expect, but I do get a lot of DMs and questions about what are my favorite places to go, favorite places to eat and shop and things to do in Seattle. So I thought whether you live here or maybe you wanna visit or maybe you're just curious about what I do and get up to in my city, I thought I would share three of my favorite places to eat, three places to shop, and three of my favorite activities and things to do in Seattle, just for anyone curious, especially if you're looking to live a more sustainable and ethical lifestyle then these spots are for you so enjoy the video and I hope you guys enjoy seeing a little bit into Seattle because I'm very lucky to live here very very lucky to have finally found a place that I can call home because I moved around a lot growing up and I really 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 do love Seattle it's like this perfect in between the mountains and the sea and you also get city life and it's wonderful and if you've never been here I definitely encourage you to come visit sometime One of my absolute favorite things to do in Seattle is to hit up the markets on Sunday. So I usually start at the Ballard Farmers Market, which I would say is probably my favorite one out of the two that I usually hit up. It has more of a focus on things like fresh produce. There's tons of mushrooms and locally grown things. There's also tons of things like package free soaps and body care, fresh made bread and flowers that you can find without plastic packaging, which is so, so nice. And it's really just such a lovely place to walk around meander and there's tons of people around always lots of puppies as well sometimes there's some food trucks some pottery just anything that you can find at your local farmers market this is the spot to be and Ballard is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Seattle as well And I also love popping over to the neighboring town of Fremont and going to their Sunday market as well. There's a little bit more of a focus on kind of artisans and things like vintage clothing. Know it, show it. <laughs> Why to name this ocean? It's a test. And it has the answers underneath. <laughs> There's heaps of vintage clothing and items and trinkets, furniture, there's jewelry, and there's also usually a bunch of food trucks there. Sometimes there's music, and it's really just a great time, again, to walk around and enjoy your Sunday. And of course, it wouldn't be a trip to Seattle without visiting the famous Pike Place Market. I feel like even though I'm a local, I still love coming here, even though it's such a touristy kind of spot. There are tons and tons of booths with all kinds of things. One of my favorite things to do is get my bulk fresh pastas here. There's also jams and Seattle memorabilia and trinkets and body care. And of course, there's the nice view of the sound and you can sit and look out over the Ferris wheel and over the water. And of course, the original Starbucks, it's here. The second ever Starbucks, because the first one doesn't exist anymore, but the second ever one is here. And truly, even though it's such a tourist kind of spot, I love coming down here whenever I get the chance. One of my absolute favorite spots to check out is Dandelion Botanical Company. It's also in Ballard and I tend to go there right after the market or while I'm at the market. They have a huge selection of nice herbal goodies if you're into anything like herbalism or perhaps you need some ingredients for your zero waste DIY concoction, they've got it. They have a huge selection of things like herbs and body care and tons of books and resources if you're interested in living a more natural life. And of course, it's super nice that you can get all of this stuff without packaging and they'll tear it right for you and then you've got all of your goodies and ingredients to make whatever concoctions you'd like and they also sell different like supplements and kind of like health food store based items so if you're looking to connect with your body connect with the world around you they've got you covered to live a more natural and connected life with mama earth
The Fremont Vintage Mall is one of my favorite spots to check out. I have tons of memories here with some of my friends just kind of popping over on a weekend and meandering through. Even if we don't need anything, it's one of those places that's just really fun to kind of go and hang out on an afternoon where it's rainy and we've got nothing else to do. They have tons of vintage goodies ranging from clothing to random items, home decor. They've got records and little trinkets and you can just find the niftiest things in there. It's just a really fun place to walk around and get inspiration and maybe pick up something that you have been looking for forever this is the place to find it. They have an incredible curated selection of vintage, literally anything and everything. And there's a bunch of different like local vintage curators that have little mini shops within the vintage mall as well, which is really cool to support. And again, they really find the niftiest items. So if you're looking for something cool to add into your home and make it feel cozy and unique, this is the place for you. And of course, it wouldn't be fair to make a video without mentioning my friend's store, Eco Collective, which is also in Ballard. I'm really good friends with the founders of it and have watched this store kind of grow from day one, and it's been really interesting to watch. This is Genevieve, one of the co-founders, and of course, you guys know Marimar and Summer as well. All three of them have been on my podcast before. Eco Collective is Seattle's first zero-waste store. They're actually getting ready to move into a new space just around the corner, so what you're seeing now, depending on when you're watching this video, might be their old their space but they are keeping an update on where they're moving to on their instagram and all that stuff and they've got all kinds of things ranging from skincare to hair care to zero waste trinkets and tools and deodorant and a range of items that'll help you live a more sustainable non-toxic and minimal lifestyle they also just recently added a big selection of bulk goods things like conditioner and mouthwash and baking soda and laundry detergent and all of those things that are a little bit more difficult to find if you're trying to live a low waste lifestyle and of course there's puppies hanging around the store all the time so you might catch drifter or charlie two of the store's puppies and of course they're more than just a store they're actually a more like educational platform so you can join their membership and attend any of their events and if you're a member you also have access to their library of books on living a lower waste and more non-toxic lifestyle Okay, truthfully, there are so many delicious vegan restaurants in Seattle, so it made it really hard to narrow it down. I only featured three in this video, but I have a few other huge faves that I will leave in the description box of this video. But for starters, there would never be a video where I'm recommending any place in Seattle that did not feature no Bones Beach Club. It is my favorite restaurant in Seattle by far. It has this really cool eclectic beach vibe inside and everything is kind of like beach grub themed and they're a really great organization. Not only is everything delicious but they also genuinely care and do great work every month. They pick a charity where they donate a portion of their sales to a local kind of like underdog charitable organization. They always donate to local charities that work with animals which as a vegan I appreciate very much. Much. But yeah, they're great. They have incredible beach grub and every single thing on the menu genuinely is delicious and they also have great happy hour kind of specials as well. This is one of those restaurants that I bring all of my non-vegan friends and family members and they genuinely cannot get enough of how incredible the food is. So regardless of whether or not you live a plant-based lifestyle, you need to come here. You can't visit Seattle without going to No Bones Beach Club and they also have locations in Portland and in Chicago and they're great if you can ever make it over there. Highly recommend. Wayward Cafe is my favorite brunch spot. It's a traditional style diner. However, everything of course is made vegan and it's delicious. Their menu is insane. The amount of selection of delicious items is incredible. And of course they do have breakfast, lunch, and dinner all day, just like your favorite traditional diner. Personally, the waffles are my favorite, but they've got everything ranging from biscuits and gravy straight through to different types of burgers. My friend here is having the French toast sandwich where the bread is is made of French toast and there's like eggs and things in the middle. They've got all kinds of goodies, everything that you would see at a traditional diner but made vegan and it's all delicious. There's often a line, especially if you're going at brunch hours, so I recommend giving yourself a little bit of time to wait, but it's definitely worth it or just go buy at a time where people are typically at work or whatever and I highly recommend is delicious. If you want breakfast for dinner, you can do it here. They can do it all for you.
And lastly, Broad Fork Cafe is this cute little cafe that has a bunch of different kind of like health centric vegan options. And I love their macro bowls. They've got baked goods and all kinds of goodies. And any place with a shaker of nutritional yeast on the table is a place for me. I highly recommend. It's delicious. It's got that classic cozy health food sandwich shop kind of vibe, which I will forever be super into. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit of a glimpse into Seattle. But before this video is over, I do just want to remind you that you can subscribe to the podcast via the links in the description box. You can sign up for my free email newsletter that goes out every single Sunday. It's called Love Letters. You can support this channel over on patreon.com slash Christina, where you receive all of my videos and podcasts before they go live to the public and the secret self-care podcast that goes out every single Tuesday. And as always, you can find me on Instagram and don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, Remember to stay happy, humble, and forever compassionate. And I love you guys so, so much. And thank you for being you. Bye.